morning everyone and welcome back today we're in Rutland um, I don't know if you could probably just make out behind me uh, let me just show you actually try and zoom in just over there is the Haringworth viaduct so today's a relatively short one, uh, 7.2 miles, probably take two and a half hours, um, maybe a bit, bit quicker than that. Um, but it's a circular, so I'm starting here, the village called Moorcott. I'm going to head over to Haringworth, well, first Seaton, then Haringworth, then over to Barringdon, and then back to Moorcott. So it's really just, I thought I'd show you the Haringworth or Welland Viaduct, it's known by both names, uh, but it's, it's quite a sight and obviously local to me, so I thought I'd show you guys, show you what it's all about, let's do this. As you can see this time of year, um, a lot of the footpaths are a bit overgrown. So, whereas in this beautiful weather, I would like to wear shorts. But instead I'm opting for just some light trousers. Almost track pants really. There's a stinging nettles. They like to get you with thistles, and I suppose you've got to watch out for ticks and stuff and insects. And I react quite badly to insect bites, so best I'll protect myself. But it always makes for an interesting walk. to work your way through everything. <laughs> but it's nice to be able to get your head up and enjoy the views. But you've just got to watch your foot and look where you're going. So I think we're, uh, we are in the Welland Valley. So I think I've just, it's just sort of going up a bit up and down at the moment. If you can see, I've come from over this way, down that hill, just through here. And we are just going up this hill right now. So hopefully we get over the top, we might be able to get a glimpse of the viaduct until we get a bit closer. You can see the sort of sheer magnificence of it really. Uh, let's get there and we'll have a look.
So that there is, um, just there, is the village of Seaton. So we've come in this way, um, just down this way, which has brought us to Hangworth and the viaduct. There we have it. You can just see how magnificent it is. It's long. Let's see if I can get you a better view. There we go, so it's from there. And then it runs, I think it's close to two kilometers. I think it's 1.6 kilometers. I'll double check that. So yeah, there we have it. The viaduct, the Welland viaduct or Homeware viaduct or Seaton viaduct, whichever one you want to call it by, but it's known by all three. What amazes me about this is the fact that <coughs> it took, or it cost, £20,000 to make, which is amazing. But then obviously that was back in, I think 1875, which is when it was first built. It took three years to build. And yeah, at a cost of £20,000. You imagine what that would be these days. So it's actually the longest brick built viaduct crossing a valley in the UK. And I didn't know that. We're just getting a bit closer to it now so you can have a better look. that's here in Hangworth. Um, I think Hangworth is Northamptonshire so I've started in Moorcott which is in Rutland. Seaton possibly is in Rutland as well uh, so Harringworth then which is Northamptonshire. But look at that. such a feat of engineering obviously for the period the 1800s I think this is where a drone would come in handy. Get that up in the air, get a good view of that. So I'm just in Harrenworth now, just walking through the village here, and then we're going to head over to Barrowden and back to Walcott. But so we've just seen the, the viaduct there. It's a nice sight 
um, it's quite hidden actually unless you're coming out here to these these little villages I came across it once well for the first time it's actually quite local to me obviously I live in Peterborough but I work in Stamford and surrounding areas so we've done I've done some work here before it was the first time I saw it I had no idea it was here So then I looked into it obviously and there's lots of um, tracks, public footpaths around which sort of zigzag underneath it. So I thought I'll come and uh, have a little look, closer look and bring you guys along as well. So on to Baradin. Just heading over to Turtle Bridge here, what's known as Turtle Bridge, and this will take me back from Nottinghamshire into Rutland. So this is, um, I think, this is a tri tributary of. The River Welland. And here we go back into Rutland on our way to Baradon. I believe it looks like rain. I could smell it. Uh, we've got about two miles left so if I can outrun it we might be all right trouble is I can't smell it so it's close I hope there's a shop in the village I can't remember there being one I did, um, I did bring a drink today. Normally I'll put, uh, I'll fill my <coughs> bladder, which goes in my bag, but because it's only like 7.2 miles, I thought I'll be a couple of hours in a bit. I won't need it. Because obviously it's heavy. It's two and a half liters of fluid. It's quite heavy to start with, but if you don't need it, I'll just bring a couple of bottles, but I only bought one bottle, which I've drunk already. But I'll be back soon. It's warmer than I thought it'd be as well. This is the road out of Baradon. I didn't bother with a shop. I don't know if there was one, but I wasn't going to try looking. I've only got about half a mile left anyway, so just power through. We'll get there. My car's in the village of Moorcott, and there's a garage there as well, so I'll get one there. So it's just a climb now back up the valley to Moorcott. But it's on the road, so we'll be all right.
So there we have it. So 7.2 miles. Uh, Moorcott, Seaton, Haringworth, Barrowden, back to Moorcott. Taking in the sights of the um, Welland Viaduct. Um, yeah, just over two hours. Not bad. Weather was great. I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.